Dinosaur is coming out of out of face. I think wanted to be considered one of the top teams in the world. But with that, they were considered. with that desire to yeah. be the top, one of the top teams in the world, the expectation comes along with it. I think we had really high expectations coming into this phase, considering we finished second at the Face It Global Summit, which was the global tournament. We've had a pretty rough phase, to be honest. I think that we've had ups and downs, but going into week four, I think after Royale, we, we came over a hump and we kind of fixed a lot of things that we were struggling with. So we're feeling really confident about going into the last two weeks of, of MPL. And uh, it's pretty much do or die at this point. Um, if we want to aim for first, we just got to show up and make it happen. So then we, ha we just have to do a better job of when we get into those adrenaline moments, finish the fight, calm it down, and look at everything, right? This weekend compared to the others is it's pretty similar. The only added thing is obviously we're working with a deficit. So it's not really like, hey, we're down 25 points and like, they're at 181 and we're at 147 to get first. It's more of just like one game at a time, but know that we need these games more than usual. I think the experience that we had at the Face It Global Summit uh, really helps. We've uh, we've always been like a team that like if we start bad, like we'll finish strong because we we don't really get down on ourselves. It's it just comes with a lot of experience. A lot of these other teams aren't really as experienced as us. For the most part, I think we have like the right balance of patience and like having a calmness to us. So. I think it, it works. We're sitting in eighth place. We have, you know, a gap to fill in the leaderboards. We know we have to play well. We know we have to perform. But I think that's something that we've always been, been good at, being in that spot. Uh, we know that if we don't play well, then it's, it's going to be rough to get first place at the end of the phase. So there's a little bit of pressure on us, but we like the pressure. And we're, we're definitely going to use that to our advantage. On a vulnerable spot, as we got two members of Lazarus, see the fact that they could potentially just walk up and net a kill very easily onto Check Shooter. Check Shooter, I think, spotted this out. How's he going to go for the play for him? He's just going to get dropped. So now Lazarus at least has themselves one point to work with. Oh, uh, is this going to be punches? It, this feels like this is going to be punches. Yeah, this feels like punches here coming out from uh, Halo. He's trying to crawl away from it, not no, going to yeah. let him happen. And no the punches. body just rolls down the cliffside and lands in the wall. That's what you got to do to win those fights. Not hesitate especially on a team like that. We try to focus on optimizing our performance as best as we can. Um, that includes meditation, psychology, uh, eating well, and being healthy. In situations that were really hectic, you guys were talking over each other. Like, it's like a lot of yelling and like the, the comms are like cluttered. When that happens, just do one of those deep breath things, right? Just deep breath, guys, okay, and then you said, okay, I'm gonna tell you in a second. Deep breath, calm down, and you gave the info, and we, everyone like we said, came back down to like a neutral level. For myself as an individual, I'm, I'm always excited to, to get started with the game. Um, there's always an itch to like, you know, just drop out of the plane and, and start playing because once you get into game, especially in PUBG, that level of focus just just, just goes up by tenfold. From the moment I wake up every before game days, I just I can't wait to play. Um, he died in the smoke that was on those crates. They mollied it, died there, and then you guys made a play on uh, so that was good. I've been working with my brother Adam for the two years that basically I've been coaching. I started off with him, so at this point, it's kind of second nature. It doesn't really affect um, affect our, our family relationship, our brotherly relationship. It's just like he's a player on the team just like everyone else and I treat him in a specific way as opposed to I, I treat the other players in a specific way because I have to, um, because each of them have different personalities. My brother and I, I mean, obviously I've known him my whole life, so he's a self-learner. So if he wants to learn things, he will, you know, put himself to that task and, and try to learn those things to the best of his ability. And so, you know, over the course of my PUBG career, um, he has learned countless things that have helped me and, you know, my teammates. Yeah, I'm being united. They're getting shot at now. It's too dead for me. How many, does anyone have a lot of first aids? Gets a lot of damage off, but it's going to be a grenade oh, from a Adam name. that knocks down two of them. So with this, now we've got Carbon, new man on the roster, trying to find the angle, gets the spray back over, but takes a lot of damage, and that's going to be Accelerate Gaming getting annihilated by Lazarus. Boy, you talk about confidence building 4v4 fights. That is great news for Lazarus. They just ran through Accelerate like they weren't even there. <laughs> Very good comms that game too. Strong, strong comms. From the beginning, even in, in the fight, comms are great. Guy on the backside, guy on the US, two on the US. Nated them. Two, one up, one up. Okay, push. Really, uh, our goal here is 
to win the tournament, obviously. And yeah. uh, this game is, like I said, it's going to be a stepping stone game for us. I think going into a Wrangell, we're going to look to close it out with a win and really uh, send ourselves further on the leaderboard where we deserve to be because we're one of the best teams in the world. And we know it.